Good morning and welcome to Home Life with 2.0, Tuesday's episode. Um, today is a little different. Cody has class every other Tuesday. So instead of getting up at 5.30, I got up at 6. That just means the kids only have 25 minutes to get up and get dressed, but that's more than enough time. The only thing is, is that instead of being able to eat cereal at home, they'll have to eat at school, which is not a big deal. They don't mind. Taylor! Taylor! It's time to get up for school, baby. Hey. Hey, Budgie. It's time to get up for school. All right, now we're gonna go wake up Robert, who is always, hey, Quake, is always grouchy in the mornings. Robbie. Hey, Bubba. It's time to get up and get dressed for school, baby. I want to walk the camera. What? I want to walk the camera. Okay. And then we go over here, pick out something for him to wear. It is freezing right now, so gonna be long sleeves and long pants. Come on, Bubba. See what I mean? Come on, baby. So I'll get him dressed, she's getting dressed, and then Cody get, gets up in about an hour, and I don't have to make his lunch, because he always buys something on school days. He's an electrician, oh, sorry, he's an electrician school, so. And then uh, I'll make my breakfast just like yesterday, and instead of taking y'all through that process, I'll take y'all through my getting dressed and picking out clothes and makeup. But, yep, we're going to get the kids dressed, get them on the bus, same as yesterday. Okay. Okay. I know, baby. Hey, Google, what's the temperature outside? In Vidor, it's currently 37 degrees. 37 degrees. So. All right, well, let's get this done. Okay, so now it's like, it's 7.05 exactly. Where is it? 7.05 exactly. Y'all are reading that backwards. Oh, well. But, uh, it's time for me to get dressed. The kids are already on the bus. Cody's. So, he had class, and then he looked, and then he didn't have class, because apparently the elect, my hair's being freaky. Uh, he didn't have class, so he went to work. Either way, he's not here. Oh, that chore chart that I did yesterday, or not chore chart, the uh, chore list where I had to, like, Fold the laundry, strip the beds, and clean the fridge and stuff. That's all done. I'm technically caught up for the week. All laundry's done. All that good stuff. But now, I'm going to go pick out my clothes for work. Which is business casual. Okay, one thing I told my husband. If we get a double wide or we build or whatever we decide to do. Because as much as we love this house, we are probably going to move. I need a bigger closet. This just is not working like there's more crap piled up behind here all up there that's just thrown everywhere and you got his safe his tools now i put these in the wall to kind of hang up my stuff his hats but it's not enough space we only had this house for like eh, five four or five years. I love it, but the closet is the only thing I don't like. I have a great kitchen. I have a great living room. Kids have fantastic bedrooms. My bedrooms are a decent size. I can fit two big gaming computers. The bathroom's good, except for I am remodeling the bath bathroom because I don't really, you know, need the tub. So we're going to turn what is the shower now into a big closet and then turn the bathtub into a walk-in shower but and then build shelves in the washroom because there are no shelves in the or at least they're these and these aren't honestly very sturdy i should probably stop piling stuff on top of them but i have nowhere else to put it all right so black 
black peanuts. It's cold outside, so I don't really want to wear this. But I might. I don't know. Depends on what kind of overshirt I have. Like over jacket. I have this big thick parka thing, but it doesn't cover my arms. All these clothes, none of them what I want to wear. Guess I'm just wearing this. And black pants, and I mean, I'm going to be wearing a jacket all day anyway, so it's not like it really matters, but I wanted to wear something nice. All right, I'm gonna change and then we're gonna go do makeup. All right, I'm dressed in my business casual. Not that it matters, cause it's cold as hell outside. So I'm gonna end up being covered up all day in a jacket anyway. All right, time to brush my teeth, put on my makeup. I don't wear a whole lot, just cause I never really have been a big makeup person. Mainly because I don't really know what I'm doing, but... My sister knows all the tricks and eye stuff. I don't. Originally, I thought it was my toothbrush that tasted funny, but I changed my toothbrush. And I know it's not my breath because Cody has complained about it too. So I think the toothpaste is bad. I'm gonna need to pick up new toothpaste. That's another thing I gotta do on my lunch break instead of uh, cleaning up my car. I'm gonna go to Walmart and see if I can find a a winter jacket for Taylor because she's cold and she's got jackets but they're like the flimsy you know more like a sweater kind of thing than a jacket and Robert's got two thick jackets he got from Bentley so he doesn't need any but Taylor needs a winter coat she's wearing one of mine or Cody's today to school because it was it's too cold for that On to my makeup. Oof. I feel so bloated today. I know I'm about to hit that time, but it doesn't make me feel any better. Matter of fact, to the point where I'm gonna go change my shirt because I just, I feel bleh in this. I mean, this one's a little better. It's honestly gonna be one of those days where nothing's gonna fit right, so. I'm going to be in a jacket all day anyway, in one of my Reese Law Firm jackets, so it's not that big of a deal what's underneath it. I'm just aggravated because it's one of those days where nothing seems to fit right. All right. Where is my concealer? Okay, so I'm not doing base this morning just because I don't really feel like it. I'm gonna do concealer instead, conceal all those things that I want to conceal, and then put my powder on. All 
All right, and that's all with that. And then put a little bit of my powder on. I don't put a whole lot of makeup on normally. And I probably don't even use the right brushes for the right stuff, but I don't care. It works. I'm not trying to go heavy on the makeup today. And then a little bit of eyeshadow. And because I wear glasses, I go with a little bit of darker, so it's at least seen somewhat. I don't worry about all that fade stuff because again I wear glasses so it's not like you can really see it most of the time anyway now as a sub I normally don't follow the same schedule but I'm subbing for the same person for six weeks so today will kind of be just like yesterday the only difference is on Wednesdays I'm in the library all day All right, and if y'all can see that, that's as good as that's gonna get for today. I don't feel like doing much. I already feel bloated. A little bit of mascara, even though it's probably gonna smudge my glasses. I don't know why I keep putting this up. Already got makeup all over me. All right. And that's pretty much it. Other than like a little bit of lip gloss and lipstick. I don't feel like going all out with it today. I'm giving it a minute to dry, otherwise it's going to end up on my glasses, which is probably going to end up on my glasses anyway, but I attempt to not let it happen. Okay, today I'm just going to simply brush my hair. Sometimes I straighten it, but here recently I had the panorama uh, last year. And uh, ever since then, the hair loss is a, is a real problem. I used to have very, very thick hair. I mean, this is what came out of my brush today. I used to have really, really thick hair. And uh, I'm taking iron and stuff and vitamins and stuff, but I, I've lost more hair than I care to admit. And I hate it, so. I don't really, I don't try to straighten it out. I don't eat hair blow dry it anymore. I try not to do anything that's gonna damage it more than it already is because I used to have so thick of hair that I couldn't put it in the ponytail without breaking the ponytail. Now, this is it. This is all I got. And I mean, it used to be thick, thick. Like I, like I would, I'd have to like clamp down this. I've lost so much hair. It's a real problem. Now, my hair used to be green. Well, technically it was blue and then it was green. But, um, it's lightened up so much that I get away with saying that it was blonde. Because technically you're not supposed to have color hair. Or like unnatural color hair. This is just to keep it from frizzing. Try to keep it I mean, today shouldn't be that bad. It's high as a 61, so in Texas that's usually good, but the high and the humidity, two different things. So I will end up bringing this brush to me, with me to work. But, all right, that's as, that's that, except for, like I said, lip gloss, or today I'm just gonna do this naturally looking lipstick. And I doubt 
and I don't use very much. Just enough to color, give my pale lips some kind of color. That's it. Now I'm gonna put my shoes on, make my coffee, and then head to work and follow the same routine. So at lunchtime, I'll see y'all again because probably not gonna be able to cut the camera on again, but I'll see y'all around lunchtime. Okay, I'm on lunch now and I'm all red in the face because I found out she worked here today and it throws, if, if she's at the high school with me or any school with me, it throws me off. Why? Because I don't really pay attention to my schedule. I end up hunting her down most of the day. So I was like, hey, I have a coupon for Subway for lunch. Oh, shit, there it is. I never mind. There's another one. No, there's not. This one's technically not an out thing. So, uh, You're not supposed to anyway. <laughs> she can't drive. But yeah, we're now going to lunch and then I will go back to work and then she won't be there. So I'll be able to follow the rest of my schedule with no problem. <laughs> I'm able to follow the rules like I'm supposed to. <laughs> and then, uh, and I'll see y'all again when I'm ready to go home. Okay, the school day is over. I am going home. Tuesdays work kind of different because Tuesdays and Thursdays, we like to go eat at my mother-in-law's. I'm gonna wait. Uh, we like to eat at my mother-in-law's, so what I'll do is Taylor will go home, get ready for dance. I'll use this time to work on stuff I didn't get done today, like the show, and then I'll take Taylor to dance, which I'll let y'all go with me, and then we go eat at my mother-in-law's, which I won't let y'all go for because I don't know how they feel about me filming. So uh, we'll go eat dinner, and then I'll go home and I'll, I'll show y'all, like not in the shower, but I'll do my nighttime routine and wash my face and. Yeah, and then we'll start another day. <laughs> Alright, it's time for me to drive. Y'all gonna get this weird angle again because, well, y'all are sitting in my, where I look at the, I have two different places to look at speed. That's the best I can give y'all. I have two different places to look at speed and y'all are in one of them. And Taylor doesn't have to be at dance until 6.30 to 7.15. Hey, uh, stop fighting. She has to be in class from 6.15, uh, 6.30 to 6, 7.15. And then we'll go to my mother-in-law's. Apparently my sister-in-law and brother-in-law are going to be going too. Something about Taco Tuesday. to get a new stand for my phone. I can't stand when freaking 18 wheelers don't drive correctly. I mean <coughs> I'm not heading straight home. Because I'm going to get us something to drink because I'm thirsty. And I didn't get my Route 44 water like I normally do at lunch. So I haven't had anything to drink all day and my mouth is parched. Taylor, yeah. you thirsty? Yeah. You want a, uh, you want a medium cherry Dr. Pepper? I want cherry Dr. Pepper or cherry. Yes or no? Yeah. yeah. I'm not as tired today as I normally am on Mondays. But I also didn't spend all day in the library working on the show. I spent most of my day with Ashley. <laughs> so I'm probably mainly not as tired because I haven't done as much work as I normally would. So when Kaylee came by yesterday, I forgot to show y'all. She gave me my birthday present which my birthday was in November, but we don't see each other as often as we would like. So for my birthday, she got me this. It's Harry Potter. I don't know if y'all can see that well. And everything has like a Harry Potter related. 
It's really cool looking. I'll have to like really show it to y'all when we get home. But I started carrying that around with me. Just cause um, Harry Potter. Uh, come on. I'm just, I'm thirsty. I just want my damn water. See, this is why I should not go all day without my Route 44 water. Cause by this time I'm just like, I want my water. Take one, pass it. Take one, pass it. Thank you, man. Right. I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. Thank you. Uh-oh, I dropped y'all straws. Here. Here, come on. They're both cherry dot to pepper. It doesn't matter. Here. All right. Oof. All right, now I'm going home. Ugh. I need to fix my driveway. <laughs> we're home. Now I'm going to go inside, and if Taylor wants to film, we'll film. If she don't, then I'll do Gals and Ghost. Okay, so I've been filming with Taylor. We made a bracelet video. Now I'm going to do some editing until it's time to take her to dance. And I'll let y'all sit with me for a little bit, but I can't show you what I'm editing because... Some of it's gals and goes, some of it's top five stuff for gals and goes, some of it's going to be Taylor stuff, so you're just going to watch me edit for a little bit, for a few minutes. And then I'm going to take Taylor to dance, we're going to pick her up from dance, go to dinner, and then come home and I'll, sh I'll you know, I'll turn the camera on because the kids are going to be taking baths, not while they're taking baths, but we're going to come in, I'm going to tell y'all we're taking baths and all that good stuff. Alright. Right now I'm about to, I need to work on a top five script. I'm behind on top five stuff. And I'm doing Oregon, even on, it might be a while before she picks that one. I've been writing them, scripting them, and then she approves them, changes them if they need to be changed, and then we film them. This is the ghost part. I need. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the ghost part. I need the history part. You are being a butthead today. You've been like all up Mama's butt. Not the one in New Orleans. I want the one in Oregon. All I can find is the his the ghost history, and we don't just want the ghost history and you have to see if you're going to create a web page with information on it then have people then charge like if you subscribe and it doesn't cost you anything that's one thing but if you have to pay i'm sorry i get on the web to learn things i don't get on you know when i'm doing research i'm doing research i don't i can get more out of wikipedia which I try not to because when I do these, I try to make sure there's plenty of sources to back it up. And so far, the one cemetery that I had in Oregon, there's no historical, like, how it came to be. It's just haunted, haunted, haunted. And I even put uh, the name, cemetery, history. Like, here we go. This might be what I am looking for. It is. Thank you. Finally, some place that has more than just ghost information. I mean, I, I, I like the ghost information, but I need the other information too. And I prefer to write what I'm going to use down, and then I'll word it how we would say it. Now, all of our top fives, our sources are... Um, there's a link in the description that will lead you to our source page. Because we 
we learned that it was really hard to put all the sources in the video in the description because we use so many. We cite our sources for the pictures, where we got them, where you can look at more, uh, where we got the information, what websites we use. So our sources page was too big for YouTube. So we had to create a web page, which I can't remember the URL for it. Right now, Kaylee controls that because uh, I, I, I do them and then she okays them we both voice over them and then all of those voiceovers go to her. She puts it together and then she uploads it and then it's under private and then I okay that video and then it goes up and then she handles the source page. So we're, we're a very good team. We half and half. But I like to write my stuff down and then reword it, re, you know, actually speak like I would be saying it not like you know I just I get the base information what I need and then I I script it to tell a story and then we cite those sources because we don't steal it we learn we adapted and then we told you where we got it This also helps me kind of go through and be like, <laughs> Kaylee's going to say that name, but not me. Sometimes she tries to, she changes it though. And I'm like, you can't do that because there's a reason I gave it to you. And she's like, you can't say it, can you? And I'm like, no. And she's like, neither can I. And I'm like, well, damn. <laughs> and then we have to look up how the locals say it. If there's like any news reports or, um, already made YouTube videos with that name in it from the air. I'm not going to be able to say that. See, these hauntings don't actually happen at the cemetery. Like, this this one might not be one we get to use, which stinks. I literally just did all the research for it. I'm going to be so mad if this is three pages worth of the notes that I can't use. Actually, it's not like three pages. It's... Only one, but that's not the point. Okay, now that I'm finished with that, I'm about to make sure Taylor's ready for dance and call it a day on editing and go bring Taylor to dance and then go to dinner. Tuesdays, Thursdays, if my mother-in-law's cooking, easier days for me. I get a chance to really sit down and catch up and boy, do I need it. I'll see y'all when it's actually, you know what? I don't know yet. I might show y'all my process of cleaning my face because I don't do that in the tub I take a shower or a bath and then I go about but uh I might do that tomorrow but I don't know we'll see if not then I will at least tell y'all what's going on but for right now I'm gonna go eat a dinner that I didn't have to cook <laughs> okay so just like I figured it's 10 o'clock at night we're just getting home the kids are in bed i'm gonna take a shower and go to bed so i will see you wednesday tomorrow thanks for watching home life with 2.0 if you like this video be sure to hit that like and subscribe also hit the notification bell so you know when i post another video i love you i'll see you tomorrow